Hello guys and welcome to another episode of It's Wild Out There. So, did a crazy rat or spastic mouse just steal perfectly good cheese from your kitchen and you don't know if it was a mouse or a rat? Well, to a lot of people, a mouse and a rat are just disgusting, right? I mean, if you see a big fat rat in your kitchen or a small mouse being eaten by a snake in your living room, it's pretty disgusting, isn't it? Well, what if you have a mouse and a rat face to face in the same cage? Or what would happen if they reacted to each other? How would they react? If you're wondering all this, then this is the video for someone like you. Now, to begin with, rats and mice both belong to the same family called rodents. They go from the pygmy jobol to the capybara that lives in South America. Rats and mice are kind of in the middle. Sorry to those of you who have a pet rat called Pat, but rats have a bad history. A few examples can include the Black Death in Europe in the 1340s and 50s, killing approximately one quarter of Europe's population. And in the trenches of the First World War, with bloody rats the size of a cat eating on dead bodies and spreading diseases. Rats also are reported as filthy creatures for stealing your perfectly good cheese or bread. Mice, however, are kind of cute little animals with tiny little whiskers who walk around getting eaten by snakes or toads, right? Well, mice are a smaller version of the rat, but they're not as bad. I mean, come on. I'm kidding. The worst thing about mice to rats is that they can sprint way faster. You will notice if you try to catch a damn mouse that stole your perfectly good cheese, it can sure run fast and can get into tight, small corners. Mice do still carry disease because God knows where they're pit. And it can be harmful if it gets on your cheese. So, it's now time for the differences between big fat rats that live in sewers and mice that stole your perfectly good cheese. Well, not even mice just stole it because you got no cheese now. Both these rodents are guilty of crimes! Once again, if you have a pet rat or mouse, I'm not trying to make you want to kill it or get rid of it. Just make sure that they stay away from your food. Now, no more delay, here we go. So, rats are significantly bigger than a damn mice, growing to 40 centimeters or more. Mice are significantly smaller than rats, growing up to 12 centimeters and a maximum of 20. Rats are normally a darker color. Mice are normally a lighter color. Rats have long, hairless tails. Mice also have long tails, but have little bits of hair on it. Rats poo less than a friggin mice. Mice have triangular snouts with long whiskers. Rats have an almost blunt snout and also has got long whiskers. And don't forget guys, if you do live in an area where there are a lot of rodents about, just make sure that they stay away from your food. Keep it safe. So guys, that concludes another episode of It's Wild Out There. Now, if you love animals as much as I do, please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And if you do know anyone who else likes animals, please tell them on the channel and help us get past 50. So guys, have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye.